This video was created under Funcom's rules, using assets from the park, and is not endorsed by or affiliated with Funcom. Thank you, Funcom, for making this awesome horror game experience. What's going on? I'm Adi Banjo, and welcome back to the park. So when we left off, we were playing with bumper cars, and I got a little confused about the accident report, I think, <laughs> just listening back. Uh, I guess for a second there, I thought they were talking about drug testing the driver of the bumper cars. They were talking about drug testing the driver of the truck who uh, that, that had all the cars that fell on somebody and they were killed. Um, so, a uh, bumper car, I, honestly, it all happened so fast, it, I don't even know what happened, it was kind of crazy, but the, uh, one of the cars, like, flew really fast, crashed through the gate here, and, um, and we're over here now, where it crashed through, and what else should we do, but listen to the ominous instructions given by the headlights and just go up these sta- oh god that was my shadow okay <laughs> that uh, that was that was interesting it's a matter of public record that i am a failure as a mother once when callum was very small i left him asleep in the car while i ran an errand don't even remember what it was when i came back the sheriff was standing next to the car Watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Okay. Also, god damn, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Holy crap. Modelers, developer, modeler, people. I salute you. This is amazing. <laughs> Wow, now that is that is a real Ferris wheel. I have never ridden on a real Ferris wheel like this. Like like I've ridden on the little kind that have have the you know, like the the benches, right? But this, nothing like this. This is like whoa. <laughs> like even even being a game, I'm like excited to see this. This is this is some crazy shit. <laughs> um no intrada. Gasoline. I guess this game doesn't really have useful items and weapons and stuff, so let's just read the page. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders, the problem is that they are locals, and so they believe a lot of the rumors about what Old Man Henderson used to do here. Old Man Hist Henderson, is that like Mr. Crowley? <laughs> Alistair Crowley? They grow up on those tails. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Yeah, superstition. Eh. But, you know, based on what I've seen here, and I, in the context of this game universe, maybe not so much superstition, and maybe there's some stuff to it. Of course, that is why I chose this site after, over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. Well, Mr. Winter, I assume that's who's writing this. You kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. I called for a few I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find 
the piece of will help me find the piece of the plans that I am missing. Sorry, I'm a slow reader, people. I just, you know, just did my best. <laughs> um, all right, let's let's keeps taking off my run. So we're at the Ferris wheel. Cool. So I guess we'll go full circle back to the House of Horrors, and maybe I'm like I have this sense that that's going to be a climax or something. Uh, I'm definitely writing this. How do I get on? Cutsies, cutsies. Okay, I know I know how to operate this. I've got skills now. I know how this shit works. We just have to stop it. Who the fuck knows how it gets started again? Why I don't concern myself with such things. Fuck yes, right, Ferris. Well, Chuck Chipmunk, or is his name Chuck? Oh my God! Yes, this is open. Where's my seatbelt? Oh my God! Oh my God! Why is this open? Oh, I don't feel good right now. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Calum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Wow. Pretty short fairy tale, three months. Well, I guess we reflected on life. Okay, I went off. I'm ready. I'm done. Please only make me go around once. Okay, I guess that's how we dismount. We just fade to black. Because it's too, it's too complicated to leave in a cinematic for that. Okay, uh... Well, that was interesting. Um... Let me go back to the map for a second. I think we're running right now. Yeah, we were running. Okay, let's run. I like our little hoppy. We we hop when we run. Okay, so next stop. Roller coaster. Oh my god, this is gonna be bad. I don't know if I can deal with this, people. Because <laughs> roller coaster is hard enough, but like... Scary haunted roller coaster of doom. I just I don't know if I can I can do that. Oh, there's cars missing and there's one here's one of them. Here's another one. It doesn't look good. A roller coaster ticket? Well, shit, we'll need that, won't we? Uh, uh, uh! What's going on? Why? Uh, I don't think we should have taken the ticket. Where's my run? I have no run right now. 
Come to mommy, Callum. Just, just remember to ha <laughs> I haven't been. You're always watching me. Is that what he A said? lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. So... So... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we... we if we didn't have a clue before, we're 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 almost certain now what what the hell we're seeing. This this is <laughs> this is you, like I could be totally off here. It like this could be clear misdirection, but I mean the the story that's being painted here is a mother who has like some kind of guilt about like apparently she felt this way and like abandoned her son. I guess at this park or something having to do with this park and and uh, now she, this is her like either in purgatory or just in her bizarre imaginings um, dwelling on that that guilt about leaving Callum here so I'm, I'm I have a feeling that Callum like I had a strong feeling from the beginning but now even stronger that we're probably not going to find Callum Callum was probably gone years ago um okay uh well it's green i guess we can go through I it wanted to ride this one never got around to do it before Gosh, this atmosphere is so cool. But I don't know if I can do this. Oh. Okay. Okay. No problem. Ups and downs. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? We need to talk about Caleb. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what, what he What is that? Taught. He even left you a trail of uh. crumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Who is back there? Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Uh, 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 ah! Okay. Okay. Awesome. What's going on? What's happening? I want off. Hello? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is no problem. <laughs> this, is <really laughs> this is no problem at all. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, I think we just hit Gallum. Okay. Well. Well. That was that was something. Do we have to fade to black again to dismount? Yep. 
how we do things here. Well, great. We haven't found a flat. Was I supposed to find a flashlight? Because she said we can't go in the haunted house without a flashlight. But I haven't been trying to really pick anything up. But I don't think I saw one. Is there one down there? Yes! Shit! I wonder if it would let us forget it. Like, if it would let us not do it. Like, could I have missed that, or w would it have forced me to, like... No, I would have seen that option before. I don't think... The witch awaits. Because... The witch awaits, okay? Because I just now started noticing that it's kind of getting... F for flashlight? How do I... Okay. Okay, uh... um. It ha okay, so I'm, I'm thinking it's going to tell me either how to use the flashlight or when I can use my flashlight, because I'm, I'm not seeing it right now, and whatever. This isn't a game, Callum! Yes, well, I have... Like, did she... Did she so maybe she didn't just outright abandon him. Maybe, maybe... Callum has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him. Demanded, really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing, too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night... He tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. There will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Okay. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe just ca her abandoning Callum, just like leaving him here at the park, is a little too simple. Because, I mean, then there's also this Mr. Winter guy. Um. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she, like, gave him to this guy, right? <laughs> For his sinister purposes, who knows what. But, um... There's a fork in the road, and I'm not sure which way to go. But I'm thinking that we'll have to check that out next episode. Ooh. We might want to go to the bright lights. I don't know. I just... I just don't know. But, uh... I'm gonna probably make my way back to the sign here. And, uh... Next episode... We'll go back to that fork in the road and we'll figure out which way we need to go. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch up with you next time. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.